Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do my first video of a Pixelmator um, tutorial service kind of thing. Pixelmator is a um, a great image editor for Mac OS X. It rivals Photoshop in so many ways, and it's just a it's a great um, way to photo app, photo edit cheaper on the Mac, and it's less than sixty dollars. It's it's an incredible value. So anyway, we're going to go down here to our dock and open up Pixelmator. Here's the opening screen, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a um, a simple technique uh, used with a lot of Apple products. I thought that would be a good place to start, um, where you have the reflection off the ground, um, or the fake ground kind of thing. Anyway, it's an advertising technique used by Apple a lot, so I thought I'd show you how to do it within Pixelmator. So first we're going to create a new image, and call it... Um, iPod Touch. If I can spell um, test or something like that. Then we're gonna keep the width at 240 or 640, and then um, change the height to about 700, and keep the resolution at uh, 72. And here's our blank image. Um, first, now we're gonna go to open. And under a folder I have, I have a image I found on the web called iPod Touch. Just a simple little thing. We're going to go up here to the icon, and then drag it over to the uh, to our other image. Go to our um, layer select tool. Move it over here to about the center, and more towards the top. And then we're going to grab the magic wand tool and select. All the white space, you can see there's still white space on the corners. You can select and then hit the, the delete button to get rid of it. Go back to the square selection tool and get rid of the selection. Next, we're going to go back to our um, a move tool and then go to layer, duplicate layer. So now we have two of them. Keeping our uh, cursor, or I mean our, our in our layers palette, keeping our um, iPod Touch copy selected. We're going to go down to, I mean, edit, transform, flip vertical. So now we get a completely backwards image. We're going to drag it down to right about there. And then we're going to go to layer, add layer mask. And then we're going to go over here to our layers palette, select our layers mask simply by clicking on the black square. Then we're going to go to our gradient tool. I've already made a gradient here that's just white to black and you'll be using that a lot so I suggest to make one. Then we're going to go from oh about here with our gradient and go all the way to about where the gray starts and there you go. Um, a simple way to do Apple's um, reflection effect. You could do different variations on it. You can do this to just about any image. You can do it to text, so on and so forth. It's it's getting a lot more common as a advertising technique. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and I really do hope you enjoyed.